of us, you'll see the Marquee Nightclub and Day Club. It's made to look like a cruise ship had landed right there on top of the building. And the way the window, windows on the front and the side come up and down make a wave. It's one of those things where you really have to look and use your imagination to see. But once you see it, you can't unsee it. It is a cruise ship on top of the Cosmopolitan, absolutely. Now coming up down on street level of our city center, we have the shops at Crystal's. Now just check out these high-end shops out front here. Got Prada, Louis Vuitton, Tom Ford, Fendi, Tiffany & Company, Gucci, Dolce & Gabbana. Yeah, that's where I go do my people watching and my window wishing. I don't call it window shopping because that means you're going to buy something. Nothing. It's kind of intimidating when you go into a store and there's a man in a gray suit just staring you down. And you can feel him reading the credit cards in your wallet. He hasn't even pulled it out yet. I just asked him where the restroom was and I left immediately. But you never know who you're going to see shopping at Crystal. Now come up here on our right, we have our Monte Carlo. This is a great place to go cool off or heat up here in Vegas. They have the minus five ice bar, where it is minus five degrees inside the bar. The entire thing is made out of ice. The walls, the bar, the bar stool you're sitting on, the shot glass you're handed, it's all ice. Now if you get too cold, there come up front to Monte Carlo's 800 degrees pizzeria. As you go inside, you walk through the line, they'll build your pizza right there in front of you. And then they toss it into their 800 degree oven and 60 seconds later, it's done. Now next year we have our New York, New York. Our New York, New York skyline is based on the 1936 skyline of New York City. Our Brooklyn Bridge sees more foot traffic than the real one. And if you happen to hear people screaming, do not be long to having a wonderful time on that big Apple roller coaster that goes up behind the skyline. In the corner, you'll see a 150 foot tall Statue of Liberty. She's just awesome. Now, our next stop's going to be coming up over here at the Excalibur, our medieval style castle here in Vegas. Now, I've had guests on my bus from all over the world, and they all tell me the same thing. There's nothing like this place anywhere else. We love the Excalibur. Here, we find that wonderful dinner show called Tournament of Kings. Now, depending on what side of the arena you're sitting on, we'll determine which jouster you're expected to root for, because there's going to be a live jousting tournament right there in front of you. Men in shining armor going head to head, trying to knock each other off their horses. Now, it is a dinner show, so they're going to feed you. You'll be getting your very own Cornish game hen right there on your plate. But don't even bother looking for utensils. There will be none. You're expected to tear it up with your hands and eat it the same way they did back in medieval times. It's a little messy and it gets a little rowdy, but it is way too much fun. Now over here at the Excalibur is also where something pretty amazing happened. A little over 10 years ago, we had a guy come to town to visit some friends. And he wanted to gamble a bit. So they brought him over here. Well, he put a $100 bill into the Mega Bucks machine. Reached over and pulled that handle down just one time. Cha-ching! $39.7 million off of that one $3 pull. Now, that is the largest jackpot to date here in Vegas, and everybody wanted to talk to the guy. When the media got a hold of him, they asked him if he was ever going to go back to work. Well, he acted like he was kind of insulted. He said, absolutely, I'll be back to work on Monday morning. We are right. I think he must have been in shock, okay? Because I don't know about you guys, but I could think of about 39.7 million reasons not to go back to work, but maybe that's just me. I don't know. I think I'd call in Rich. Hi, good morning. Yeah, well, I'm not coming to work today. <laughs> I'm Rich. Probably won't be there tomorrow or the rest of the week. Just go ahead and replace me. That's fine. Do what you gotta do. Now,